Hello, my dear students. I'm Dr. Pragna Matheli from Government First Grade College, Tharwar. I have already uploaded many videos on commercial arithmetic topic. Here, I am going to discuss one important topic in commercial arithmetic syllabus that is annuities. My dear students, first let us understand what is annuity and then let us solve some problems on it so you can enjoy the topic. Already I have uploaded many videos and you can enjoy those videos by watching them in my channel which is called as Pradhyam Matthi channel. So dear students, what is annuity? It is a regular periodic equal payment with a consideration of compound interest. It is called as annuity. So there should be regular payment and equal payment should be there and also should be done periodically. Moreover, we have to consider that it should include compound interest also. So let us take one example for it. Suppose a person deposits rupees 2000 every year on which he gets compound interest of rupee of 8% per annum. In this case, regular deposit is called as annuity because he is making the deposit regularly, that is every year, and on which he is getting 8% compound interest also. Therefore, we call it as annuity. One more example, let us see. For example, uh, here, a person has taken a loan of rupees 25,000 at 12% per annum compound interest. He is clearing the loan in the form of a payment of annual equal installment that is called as EMI, equal monthly or equal annual installments. Then payment he is making is called as annuity. So you may ask me whether if we are paying rent, we can we call it as uh, it is a regular and equal uh, rent will be given. So can we call it as annuity? No, because it doesn't include compound interest. So if it is not including compound interest, it cannot be considered as annuity. So whatever, whether it is a deposit or loan, uh, if it includes compound interest, then and if it is regular, and uh, periodic, we can call it as annuity. So let us solve the problem. Uh, while uh, considering the annuity, there are two types of uh, formula. In uh, one case, we calculate amount of annuity immediate. And in another case, we calculate the uh, annuity amount. Okay. So what is the formula for calculating amount of annuity immediate? That is P within the bracket we have to take 1 plus i raised to the power of n minus 1 it should be divided by i this is the formula of calculating annuity immediate and uh, when we are supposed to calculate annuity immediate for that we require uh, one problem a person deposits rupees 20000 every year that is regular month uh, every uh, periodic installment is there at 9% per annum compound interest, find the amount in his credit as he makes third payment. See here, third payment, seventh payment, fourth payment, sixth payment. If it is asked like this, we have to calculate the amount of annuity immediate. In this case, um, we have to make use of the formula, what is already mentioned there. And what is given in the problem, 20,000 is P. And 9% uh, per annum compound interest is given, that is I. So here I is equal to 9%, that is 0 0.09. And time is also given, that is third payment. So N is equal to 3. And we have to make use of the formula that is already given. And now we have to put the values in the formula. So instead of P, we have to take 20,000. Then 1 plus 0 0.09. In, in the place of I, we should place 0 0.09. And in the place of year, we have to put three. 
So uh, it is now 20,000 within the bracket 1 plus 0 0.09 raised to the power of 3 minus 1 divided by 0 0.09. Now, what is the first thing we have to do? 1 plus 0 0.09, first you have to take because it is within the bracket, you know. The bracket indicates that first you consider me. So that smaller, small bracket, you know, it, it says first you consider me. That is 1 point, that is 1.09 raised to the power of 3, you do. Then you, then the value will be deducted by 1 that is 1 will be deducted by this particular value then you should multiply it by 20,000 that means 1.03 raised to the power of 3 my uh, should be multiplied by should be deducted that is 1.09 raised to the power of 3 is nothing but 1.295029 then minus 1 you have to make then it becomes 0 0.295029 isn't it that should be multiplied by 20,000 and then you divide it by 0 0.09 and you will get 65,562. So what is it? It is the annuity immediate. We have calculated. Okay. Then one more problem let us solve. A person deposits rupees 12,000. Every six months, here we have to consider this six months. It's very important. At 9% per annum, compound interest added half yearly so it is half year this point is very important <coughs> find amount in his credit as he makes the sixth payment see here third payment sixth payment when the question is like this you have to go for the formula m, m that is annuity immediate what is given in the problem that is p is equal to 12000 it is given I is given that is 9%, 0 0.09, but half year is asked. So you have to make it half. Okay, 0 0.09 is per annum. So for half year means half you make. That becomes 4.5. Half of the 9 means 4.5. So 4.5% means 0 0.045. Then N is equal to sixth payment is asked. So N is equal to 6. Here, the formula we have to take P within the bracket 1 minus I raised to the power of N minus 1 divided by I. This is the formula. And we have to put the values in the formula. That is P is nothing but 12,000. And 1 plus, in the place of I, you put the value that is 0 0.045. That is raised to the power of N, that is 6 minus 1 divided by i. i is 0 0.045. Here first our work is 1.045 1 raised to the power of 6 we have to make. For this what is to be done 1.045 you should make in the calculator into mark. Then press the equal mark for 5 times. Because 1.05 is already typed once. So out of 6, one time is over. So press equal mark for 5 times. Then you will get 1.30226012483. Then you deduct minus 1. That means 0 0.30226012483. It should be multiplied by 12,000. Then you will get 3. 1627.1214979796 and it should be divided by 0 0.045. So the final answer is 80,602.70. This is how we have calculated. Okay. And uh, take one more problem that is a person deposits 30,000 every year at 8.5% per annum compound interest. Find the amount in his credit as he makes seventh payment. See here, third payment, sixth payment, seventh payment. This type of question, if it is asked, you have to go for the, that is annuity um, uh, formula. P is equal to 30,000 is given in the problem and 8.5%, that is I is equal to 0 0.085. So N is equal to 7th payment means 7 uh, is the period. 
and the formula that is p is equal p within the bracket 1 plus i raised to the power of n minus 1 divided by i here we have to put instead of p we have to take 30000 and in the place of 1 it is 1 only plus i you have to take that is 0 0.085 raised to the power of n that is 7 minus 1 divided by i i is 0 0.085 First, what should be done within the bracket? Bracket tells you, please consider me first. So first you have to go for bracket. That is 1.085 raised to the power of 7. How to do it? 1.085 multiplication mark, then 7 minus 1, that is 6 times you have to press equal mark. 1.085, then press multiplication mark then go for the equal sign that is for six times you have to press then you will get 1.770142247708 then it should be divided one should be divided no, deducted so minus one that is 0 0.770142247708 it should be multiplied by p that is 30,000 so 30,000 into this much and you will get 23,104.2674124. It should be divided by i. I what? What is the i? 0 0.085. So you will get the final answer that is uh, 20, uh, 2,71,814.910734. This is how uh, we have solved the problem. Okay. The same problem, same type of problem. A person deposits rupees 15,000 every year at 6% per annum compound interest. Find the amount to his credit as he makes the third payment. Here we are interested in calculating the annuity. Okay, what is given? P is equal to 15,000. I is equal to 6%, that is 0 0.06. And N is equal to third payment, 3. Okay, and here... We are interested in putting the formula that is P within the bracket 1 plus i raised to the power of n minus 1 divided by i. And uh, P in the, in the place of P you put 15,000 and within the bracket 1 plus 0 0.06 raised to the power of 3 minus 1 and it should be divided by i that is 0 0.06. So as I have already mentioned bracket calls you so consider me first, consider me first. So well, you consider the bracket, that is 1 plus 0 0.06, 1.06 raised to the power of 3. That is 1.06, then put multiplication mark, then out of 3, one time you have taken 1.06. So two times are left out, isn't it? 3 minus 1, that is 2. So two times you press the equal mark. 1.06 multiplication, two times equal mark. You will get 1.191016. And then minus one you have to make. That becomes 0 0.191016. It should be multiplied by 15,000. That is 2865. That is 2865.24. It should be divided by, divided by 0 0.06. And you will uh, get the answer as 47,754. So I hope, my dear students, you have already understood how to solve this kind of problems. And uh, you have gained the knowledge of it. So let us uh, solve one, uh, one more problem. That is a person deposits 15,000 every six months at 8% per annum compound interest added half yearly. One half yearly problem we have already solved, isn't it? So this is one more problem of this type. Find the amount in his credit as he makes the sixth payment. Here what is given? P is equal to 15,000 and I is equal to 8% per annum. But it is compounded half yearly. Therefore, it becomes half of it. I becomes 4%. So I is equal to 0 0.04 we have to take. And N is sixth payment. So N is six, okay? So N is equal to six. R is equal to uh, not 8%. We have to consider as 4%. 
and P is given that is 15,000. So this is the formula that is P within the bracket 1 minus I raised to the power of N minus 1 divided by I. So put the values in the, in the place of formula. Instead of P, take 15,000 and within the bracket you take 1 plus 0 0.04 raised to the power of N that is uh, 6 you have to take and minus 1 divided by 0 0.04. Okay. So what next? Well, uh, that is uh, 1.04 raised to the power of 6 that is in the bracket and it is calling you that please consider me first because I am in bracket. So you have to consider it first. 1.04 then multiplication mark. So it is 6 times you know already one time is over. So 6 minus 1 that is 5 left out. So put equal mark for 5 times. Okay. Then you will get 1.2653. 1901849 minus 1 you have to make and you will get 0 0.2653190849 and you should be multiplied by 15000 and you will get 3979.78527735 you should be divided by 0 0.04 and the final answer you will get as 99494.63 so that is the answer so my dear students, I have explained you this kind of problems and I hope you have understood also. Please refer my earlier videos and also wait for my next video wherein I will tell you <clears throat> how to solve some more problems and uh, when it is the question of annuity. So uh, let me end the uh, video here itself. Don't forget to give me the feedback and I hope uh, you are enjoying my videos. Thank you.